Grant Rising family, welcome to your Wednesday the 17th um, daily message. Family, we are in a huge cycle shift uh, right now. You know, we've been seeing for a long time in the readings, um, new beginning, karma completion, the world, ending of a major cycle, right? So it's like an ongoing thing, right? So we're in a huge, I'm Palo Santo because the energy is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Uh, the, vi the vibration of love is so strong and let's maintain it. Um, last day on solar plexus for me, moving up to heart chakra tomorrow as usual. Uh, I get real mushy when I'm, <laughs> and, and I'm a softy even more so when I'm on heart chakra. I just love working on heart chakra. Oh, this Palo Santo is burning so good right now. Okay, so again, so back to what I was saying. So we are all in the process right now of releasing ourselves from our karma, okay? Past life, this life. And we are in the process of repaying our debts at this time, okay? That's why we keep seeing justice card come out a lot. And, and, and you guys heard me say, it's time to collect. It's time to collect. There's a lot of people you know, receiving karma, good or, you know, th th that other kind as well is showing up right now. You see it all over the world. You see it all over the news. You see it in the lives of your loved ones. Okay. And um, just know that the people with pure intentions and good hearts will always win in the end. So keep uh, shining your beautiful love and light. Justice uh, comes out a lot. So does the world card, the wheel of fortune and judgment. So that means Karma's at play here, okay? We are currently freeing ourselves from karma and entering into a season that we get to decide now what we want for ourselves from, from a clean slate, a fresh start. That's the fool and the, and the judgment card. We are given the opportunity to choose again for ourselves. Redemption. We have a second chance at a new beginning. So it is a process, right? It is a process. So, um, so let's see where the, so, you know, it takes the recalibration, right? The recalibration, the adjustment period, right? To going from one, that's the in between worlds card we keep seeing going from one way of being, you know, one karmic cycle into a, a, a new one. That's, that's not familiar for us, right? Be patient with yourself. Give yourself grace in becoming somebody you've never been before. So, um, I want to go ahead and get started. I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you all that likes, that shares, that subscribes, that donates decks to the channel, that schedule personal readings with me, that comments below, that contributes in any, in any way that you guys contribute uh, to our community. It does help the, the message to reach more people. It does help with the algorithm. It helps for the message to reach those that need it. And it all helps for our community to grow as well. That's how we can support each other. So God bless you and thank you so, so much for any which way you guys show up here in our community and, 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 and to, towards the channel. Okay, so I'm going to say my prayer. And um, you guys have an option to tune in to the prayer and uh, call your angels, your guides. Breathe, come back to center, right? Tune into the energy and ask whatever questions you like to get from this reading. Tune in to me and... Um, or you guys can, can fast forward, right? And skip this part and get to and get straight to the reading. Okie dokie. All right. So um, I'm going to say my prayer and then we're going to, I have already some decks picked out here. Okay. And um, that I saw in meditation. I meditated a lot today. I did a lot of recharging because I, tomorrow I intend on starting the, the love readings for the rest, for the, for all the signs, starting with uh, uh, the air signs since I already started with Aquarius. And then we'll move on to, to, to the other signs. All right, let's go family. Let's go. What is the energy? Oh, there's a, there's a couple cards that doesn't belong. Let's see what they are. Indecision and freedom. Okay. Again, we have our free will. We have the choice here now to decide, right? What is it that we, that is best for us, right? For our best and highest good. All right, I'm going to say my prayer.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Family, I did post, uh, and I'm getting hot again. I did post two readings. I'm sorry, not two readings. I posted two, um, I just put the shirt on. I, I, I posted two meditations on the community board. One is a violet flame and the other one is for protection to repel negative energy. Okay, well, let's get started with the reading. What is the, the message here for the collective for Wednesday, the 17th? I'm going to split the deck here. We have moderation. So this is this temperance energy, right? This is this patience energy, the self-discipline, the self-control, the balance, okay? That we're working on restoring at this time. What else for Wednesday, the 17th for a collective? The energy has been beautiful incredibly beautiful we have physical activity so move your body and rebirth right this is the beginning stages of a new cycle and the balance right the mind body soul mind body spirit we have healing here as well lots of healing is taking place what is the, the main energy here for wednesday the 17th and we need to we have abundance oh my god parenting and intuition so trusting your intuition here is going to be very very important your intuition is correct okay we have synchronicity here your intuition is guiding you towards the signs and synchronicities okay that's guiding you towards your abundance whenever i do my intuition uh, meditation right um we have 22 here orange which is sacral chakra water element whenever i do my intuition meditation my intention is always from my intuition to make it clear to guide me towards what's for my best and highest good, right? Uh, towards abundance, towards health, prosperity, true love, all of the things, right? All of it uh, to be my compass, right? To where, to where I'm meant to go, where I'm headed. So we have here abundance, abundance of everything. You're in the vibration of abundance. That's the energy here for for uh, Wednesday the 17th. And then we have parenting. Parenting can mean a lot of things. It can mean you have children, okay, that you are parenting. And um, that is your priority. That is your focus right now. Um, also, if you're not parents, it's good to be talking about your, your pets, okay? It could also be talking about you parenting yourself, right? Mothering yourself, okay? But it could also be an indication that if you are manifesting a family, um, it's in the energy here for you. Okay. There's absolutely nothing that you can't have that you would like to have. Okay. If you align to the energy and you, um, man have faith, right. Hope and you manifest. Okay. From, from, from positivity. And, um, you are a master creator here, a master manifester. So we have parenting here and abundance. So you guys are, uh, feeling really good, feeling really blessed, really grateful right now. Eight, eight, 2024 is an eight, eight represents abundance here. Oh, I'm sorry. Eight, eight, eight. No, wait, no, that's a nine. That's a nine. So that's a nice, so we have eight, eight, nine and two, two here. So this is the numerology deck. What's under intuition and synchronicity. So paying attention to the signs and synchronicities at this time. Let me drink some water. Because you're being heavily guided. Abundance is not just prosperity or money, right? It can be. Abundance represents all of it. Like an increase is taking place in your life right now. Okay. You could be feeling, you know, very, you will be feeling a lot of love in your heart, your heart. This pink represents the higher heart chakra. Abundance is also Archangel Shamuel. Archangel Shamuel is the angel of abundance as well as, um, as well as the angel of your soulmate and opening your heart. The thymus chakra is this pink energy here. F feminine energy is the heart. I got here blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. We talked about that in this rebirth energy, right? Your intuition is very strong and it's guiding you right now. Really, really strongly. 
You could be um, giving birth to new ideas, new creations with this parenting card as well. It feels like it feels like the birth of something new blossoming, right? It's like you're blooming and you're blossoming. Something could be significant around spring as well. Um, so have have patience right now. We talked about uh, patience is power. Okay, have patience with your process as you are in the process of, of still growing here. All right, what else here for Wednesday the 17th for the collective? What's the energy, please, Spirit? Okay, so you're being asked with this intuition here, you're being guided to go into high priestess energy, to go within, to do a cleanse, an aura cleanse. Remember I talked about how everything is balancing out karmically, we have mat fairness with the justice scales here. And this is talking about, and we talked about this in other readings, how, how important it is for your heart to be as light as a feather here, which means it's important that we release judgment. There could be, again, with the parenting and abundance, it could be a change in your home life. Okay. This could be between now and a few months from now. Okay. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. I remember this card was jumping from my energy for a whole year before I actually moved. I was being guided to move way before I actually moved. Your intuition is telling you. So on Wednesday, it's important that you do an aura cleanse. Um, Pure Rasa has a wonderful meditation. It's called Aura Cleanse uh, by Pure Rasa. Or you can do a, a complete chakra reset here. Uh, Spirit is, is suggesting that you take some time alone to rest, to meditate, and to contemplate, to heal your feminine energy for healing, to balance out feminine and masculine energy here, to create a sacred space in your home that you can go to, like a sanctuary. It could be in your room, it could be a, just, just, just a place where you can go be alone, where you can go be, you know, with yourself, where you can read, where you can meditate, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Okay. Uh, this, a place where you can put your incense, your crystals, your sage, right. Um, that you can go and spend time with, with the divine. Okay. So you can dive into the portal of your heart. Right, the situation that in, in question that you have in mind, okay, is gonna is going to uh, uh, balance out here. The situation um, that you have been experiencing personal to you is going to be handled in a fair and just manner, okay. And it might have something to do with parenting, with your home, okay, C because I see home here. Might have something to do with property, with your home, and with parenting here, okay? So right now you're being asked to have patience. Don't trust the process. Remember, you're just getting started. I'm going to get a, an angel message here. We'll see how this is going to tie into the reading. But uh, this abundance energy... Um, okay, thank you, Spirit. This abundance energy is Empress energy. And Empress energy blooming, blossoming, growing, right? Parenting, the mother. That's Empress energy. So we have here divine feminine energy. We have Empress energy here. Okay. Of um, whatever it is that you're nurturing right now. I heard Archangel Raphael. Archangel Gabriel is the angel you call upon to help you to nurture something. Whether it's a child, a business, whatever you need nurturing could be yourself your loved ones, that's Archangel Gabriel. You also want to work with Archangel Raphael right now. We did see that healing card. Okay. And um, yeah, so I'm getting Empress energy here, divine feminine energy. You're creating a lot of abundance in your life by nurturing yourself, parenting yourself. Um, and it's creating a lot of balance here. And I did talk about how the karmic scales are being balanced out right now. Things are, you're protected by the way, from all types of harm. The worst is behind you. Yeah. Again, family, some of you guys are, some of you guys, not all of you guys don't take this. If it's not your energy, it could be a, a pet for some of you guys, but there's some, there's going to be for some of you go some kind of shift. This, this has been jumping for me as well. Um, interestingly, wow. And the angel of a bun, interestingly enough, this card here also jumped for a whole year for me before I even found out that my, 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 my son had a, had, had a daughter. 
Okay. Um, before he even found out. So he didn't find out until she was a year old. Um, but anyway, so this card was jumping the entire time before we ever found out that he had a baby. So, um, so yeah, so it, it actually came to fruition for me. A, a, a baby came into our lives, right? So it could be that for you guys. Okay. And that could be what the abundance is because you know, the bundle of joy, right? Baby children brings a lot of joy and happiness into our lives. So there could be, as you can see, uh, she's holding a baby. Okay. For some of you guys, don't take it if it's not yours. Um, again, it could be a family member that's having a baby. It could be, uh, that could be the announcement. It could be you're, you're getting a new pet, right? My neighbor has a, a puppy and he cries a lot cause they're, they're crate training him, but he's super, he's super cute and that's their baby, you know, and it's an addition to their family, right? So I am the angel of families, a happy change or an addition is coming to your family. And look, there's going to be some kind of change in the home. Okay. And then we have, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive right here, abundance. You will receive the money that you need. And God is in charge of how that will happen. Interestingly enough, I did an abundance uh, meditation today with Kenneth Suarez. I love uh, his abundance. It's spiritual abundance meditation. I am guided to it every so often, but I love this energy. Okay. What else for Wednesday? So that's just so you guys know, right? Uh, if you guys intuition are, is really strong right now. You'll know if this is your message or not. Trust your intuition and follow it. Okay. What else for Wednesday? Oh, I love this. I love, 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 love. I am the angel of peace. Shanti. This is a six of swords energy. I bring you peace. I bring you a new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So peace. And then at the bottom of the deck, we'll leave this right here. Yeah. Find your inner sanctuary, your inner peace by going within. Spirit just wants you to just, you know, uh, rest right now. It feels like you're being asked to go into, go into rest, go into meditation on Wednesday. Okay. Um, it's time for self-care. Beautify yourself. Beautify your home here. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today. So Wednesday, Spirit wants you to take good care of yourself. A massage, a sea salt bath, pedicure. Sorry, I got to sneeze. Excuse me. I apologize. A lot of Palo Santo went up. <laughs> Can you guys see my face plaque? Okay. All right. So taking very good care of yourself to restore the balance here. It's like this. It's like the universe really wants you to let go and release. Your spirit guides want you to release whatever, whatever this is. Cause, and, and let the divine handle it, right? Whatever this, this fairness here is, everything is going to be dealt out where everyone's going to receive what they need to be receiving. Apparently abundance is coming to you. Okay, so we have an emperor here, the divine masculine energy. I'm going to find out a little more about. We have another masculine energy, a king of swords. Queen of Swords now. Wow. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, I don't know. I got the feeling of, you know, somebody here might feel a little tense, 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 tense. Because it's under right here. It's under you're safe now. The worst is behind you. It's under under peace. So I'm getting the spirit is saying you can, you can lower your sword. You can lower your sword. Kick your feet up. Right? Take a rest. We got it from here. We got it from here. It could be that your angels, which is these doves, white doves, the Holy Spirit here is trying to alert you of something, right? Let's see why she's here. Or you could just be a called to speak up on something with love. Mother Earth. Yeah, family. There's something there's something with children. Something with parenting, there's something with children. Okay? 
Uh, and then remember I said, there's a time right now for you to do an aura cleanse. A purification process is taking place right now. Something with children here, guiding children. You are good at you are you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Every time this card jumps from my energy, I hang out with my granddaughter. Yeah, look, something about family and home and children for Wednesday. Okay, it could be reparenting yourself as well. Things are things are looking good here. Ten of Cups. Okay, in the home, in the family, your family's safe, your children are safe, happy, cared for by the angels. What else here for the collective for Wednesday, the 17th? We have the seven of pentacles sideways. What else? Yeah, and the nine of wands under quiet time. So it's time to recharge. We have three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this was, feels like it was something unfair. That's being taken care of. That's being handled by the divine here, okay? I started with saying karmic completion, right? And, uh, and we have under quiet time, we have under sacred space, we have the seven of pentacles sideways under... Your, things are about to get smoother for you. We have the Queen of Swords. And under quiet time, take some time to be alone, rest and meditate. We have the Wounded Warrior. Feeling a little tired. On the verge of giving up here, right? And Spirit is saying, we rest, we don't quit. We take a knee, right? Uh, this is gaining spiritual strength here, right? Somebody has been through the battlefield. They are wounded. Guards are up here, okay? Um, for some reason here, we're not feeling safe. We're not feeling safe um, on Wednesday. Oh, wow. Look at this huge heart activation. Huge heart healing, heart opening, and heart activation taking place. The ice around someone's heart is melting. This may not be your energy. It can be because the Queen of Swords sword is up. You could be feeling a conversation coming in. Let's, let's continue, right? It could be here that your time of waiting with the Seven of Pentacles sideways is coming to an end very soon. Okay? That's why the Seven of Pentacles is sideways. So, perseverance here. Perseverance. We're almost done. We're almost closing out this cycle. That's why Spirit is saying just rest now. You're just getting started. Right, we saw that. Uh, have patience with the process. Can I have a? Uh, can you please clarify the Queen of Swords? We have the Six of Pentacles. One more for the Queen of Swords. Yeah, and the Temperance again with the patience. You're just getting started. Open up to receive. Gifts are coming in. I feel there's a little bit of a suspicion about this, whether you can trust this or not. Trust your intuition. Okay, everything that you gave out. Look. Page of Pentacles. Everything that you gave out in the past is being returned to you. There's that judgment card. That second chance. That clean slate. That new life. Us starting. Are starting from a clean clean slate. Like a like a blank. A blank canvas. Childlike energy. Beginner's mind here. Right? Have the ability to create our own reality. Because we were freed from. We've been doing the work. The forgiveness work. And the healing work. And we are freed from uh, our past karma, right? So six of pentacles. The balancing of the scales again. We have the scales balancing here. The scales balancing here. Libra energy could be important. We have Sagittarius here as well. Okay. So this is balance. The inner peace. The inner peace here under, under the queen of swords. The queen of swords is feeling more clear more more peaceful because the heart has been healing when the heart heals and opens it, it the direction is more clear okay being more receptive here this is soulmate energy but this is also moderation right moderation when it comes to the balance of equal give and receive it could be regarding your work 
as well. Needing to balance out, again, spirituality and practicality. I'm getting ground your energy. Do the grounding meditations. Inner harmony. Balancing out of the masculine and the feminine. The yin and the yang. Peace, harmony, balance, mending, reconciliation. Healing, patience. We'll get more on that. Let's continue. Seven of Pentacles. Sideways here. What is this? The world. I said karmic completion. It is the end. It is the end of... Uh, you, you're getting ready to receive. Right here. Six of Pentacles. Fairness. Everything that you put out. That you gave. That you put into a situation. A job. A person. A place or a thing. Everything you invested in the past. Is coming to a, a head. A conclusion. A completion. This is an accomplishment. Okay. Your patience has been paying off. I feel like this is what you've been working on. On balancing internally. And balancing equal give and receiving. Or external reality. It's the end of this suffering and pain. It's the end of it. Two cards of divine timing and patience. Here's the sun again. Can I have one more on the world and the seven of pentacles in reverse? Page of swords. So delayed communication could be coming in from an emperor. <laughs> Divine Masculine here wants to make things right. Wants to make things right with you. This is the second time that I get a message. Yeah, this is the second time that I get a message here. Children here. That that there's uh, t today. Second time today that I got a message that could be an emperor coming into your life. Okay. And they're bringing children with them. They have children, is what I'm saying, okay? And the guidance here is to open yourself to up to receive. I also heard this emperor wants to sip, wants, wants to take a sip from your cup of love. This emperor is also needing some, uh, some uh, emotional support, it feels like, okay? Um, this is somebody from your past. Somebody that you already know that you have memories with already and have some nostalgia and has a past life relationship with. Okay. Um, and deep, deep love, innocent love and unconditional. There's unconditional love here for this person. I feel the queen of swords here. You're very serious when it comes to your journey and your spirituality. And you're very serious when it comes to your healing. Okay. And you're very protective over that, right? Over your peace. And I feel like the Queen of Swords is saying, I'm open to have a conversation with you, but if it's not fair, if it's not balanced, if it's not equal give and take, the Queen of Swords is saying, I'm at a place in my life where, um, where, where I'm good on that. This is an, un it feels like it's an unfinished business with the Nine of Wands here. So we have this emperor that is closing out a cycle and they're very close to closing this out. Okay. Somebody wants to come in. He, this person wants to come in and balance things out. Bring harmony and balance into the situation right here and into your life. Right. They're watching. They're curious. Gathering information. From a distance, okay? And I feel like they're getting ready to talk. <sighs> they're getting ready to talk. Can I have one for the Nine of Wands? We have here the Devil Energy. We, the first card we saw when we split the deck was Moderation, right? The Devil is the opposite of that. It's overindulgence, okay? So, that could be not your energy. Because, I, because if you're the feminine energy, the, the temperance card is connected to the queen of swords. Okay? That means like we have been working on this peace, on this balance here. And we're serious about that. Right? We're focused on that, queen of swords. With queen of swords is somebody that has gained a lot of experience. Life experience. Been divorced. Been hurt a bunch of times. Has experienced a lot of hardships. Somebody that's very wise. 
very brilliant mind, very lo logical, okay? And um, has control over their emotions. It's, this, this, this queen right here rules logic. So we have the devil. I'm getting somebody is being freed from their karma, is being released from their karma. I, I, I just heard, uh, I, 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 I've had enough. I've had enough of this energy. This is somebody here that's done repeating cycles and patterns and habits that are not good or healthy for them. They haven't really got very far in this energy. They've just gotten themselves wounded. I'm also getting that somebody's very tempted. They can't hardly hold back and take it anymore. You know, uh, when it comes to being away from you. It feels like the feeling, the temptation, the feeling is escalating, okay? This person's exhausted. They, 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 for a long time, they have been feeling. Then I say in the beginning that this, this had everything to do with karma. Saturn, Saturn twice here. Saturn rules karma. It's the taskmaster. The, and this is, represents karma as well, judgment. This Archangel Gabriel bro, blowing the horn. Telling somebody here, you have a, you have a choice, you have a decision to make, a judgment call, a fun, to make a fundamental life. You have you have an opportunity to choose again. Somebody finally drew a line in the sand here, right, and walked away from a situation, from a karmic situation. It feels like that was very hard on this person. You know, uh, they're on their knees, nine of wands. They've been wounded. Okay. Very, they learned a very, very powerful, profound spiritual lesson here. A karmic lesson. I do feel with this page of swords here, is this open, that is open. This person is open-minded and open to learning. They're very curious. They're gathering information. They're learning new things, which is making them feel more comfortable, more safe. Okay. To come forward. But um, the devil's all things shadowy, right? We have it within us. And we also have it in our environment, our surroundings with the people around us. This could be karmic ties, karmic family, karmic relationship that you have a toxic relationship, an unhealthy relationship with somebody, right? And this could be our own addictions, our own codependencies, our own, you know, insecurities and, 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 and patterns and habits that are not good for us, okay? The devil wants to keep us stuck, wants to take our faith from us, wants to keep us powerless, helpless, and hopeless in victim consciousness. So somebody here is, uh, feels like they're freeing themselves. Looks like they got some kind of a wake-up call, a breakthrough, an awakening, an epiphany because of some self-evaluation that they've done or whatever information they're inquiring here in the Page of Swords. Can I have one more for this devil and the nine? This is what this, is what this energy does. This is what this energy brings into people's lives. This, this kind of shadowy energy, right? We all have a shadow and a light within us, a negative and a positive, right? But when we are conscious, look, this is what this energy does. Brings us down, keeps us down, keeps us stuck, rock bottom energy, right? Just like any addiction would. Um, and, uh, and now we have an opportunity. Now it's over. It's done and done and over with. And we have an opportunity to go in a new direction to choose again. And I said that early, earlier in the intro. When I was talking to you guys about that this is a karma completion time, right? People received their karma, rock bottom energy, 10 swords in their back, done. Final nail on the coffin, officially done. So now we have an opportunity, crossroads energy between worlds energy, right? To choose a new path for us, a path of light. See, that's the thing. When we go through this type of awakening, sometimes it, this, this is the kind of stuff that happens for us to wake up, a wake up call. A breaking point, right? Um, a breakthrough energy. When we go through that, you know, we wake up. We become more aware and more conscious of our stuff, of our choices, that we are the creator of our own reality, right? And um, and when we go through that, 
that's when we're, we start to see clearly, you know, um, that we do have free will, that we do have a choice. And, 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 and we can then at this point decide to choose the, whether or not we're going to operate from, we're going to make our decisions in life from our higher self, from a place of light and love, or from our shadow, or from our ego, or from our wounded heart, from our blocked, guarded, closed off heart. And we, in this energy, you get everything from vindictiveness, greed, you know, shady, petty stuff, um, revenge. You get, you know, from, the, from this energy, from pain. Anger comes from this, resentment, you know, people that lack control over their emotions and they make these impulsive decisions that can end up ruining the rest of their life, Right? So, um, somebody's being liberated from this. Somebody's is on their knees. They're humbled. They learned from this. And now again, they're given a, a second, there's an opportunity here, whatever the situation, if you experience this, the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. If it's this person that you're dealing with that, that ended up on the ground here right because of some karmic situation that they are in which they're getting out of by the way right they're moving in a new direction here yeah there's a lot of focus and passion here directed towards somebody that's single and independent okay um So somebody here is, you know, have has had a hard time breaking themselves free from this bo uh, uh, bondage, from this restriction, from this, from from feeling like they're chained, right, to to a situation here. Uh, but they're they're spirit is they're not giving up. This person has fight left in them, stamina left in them. Okay, tell me more about this uh, nine of wands person. The it's the emperor. It's a divine masculine. It's the divine masculine that's going through this. Okay. It's the divine masculine that's going through this right now. It, it's heart, They're heartbroken. It's heartbreaking for them. But it's helping them so much to grow, to ascend. And to if this all happened so that this person can grow, ascend, and evolve here. Maybe this quiet time is for them. For the masculine. For the masculine to go into quiet time, it's time to rest, to go into quiet time here so you can, maybe this masculine is waking up spiritually here and they are meditating more and they are, they may even have some crystals on their table, on their desk. Okay. They may have even invested in, you know, the things that we are pulled and called towards when we start our spiritual awakening, like, like sage and incense and crystals, <laughs> tarot cards. <laughs> things like that okay so we're talking about the divine masculine energy you could be a woman in divine masculine energy okay i'm just reading energy but yeah but this person has been sitting and uh, contemplating probably already sitting in quiet time here you know thinking and contemplating meditating and fantasizing feeling very regretful feeling discontent feeling bored apathy here unhappy not emotionally fulfilled in their life, like a love drought. It's so interesting because today I heard a song, um, a channeled song that came to me. It's by the movie Ghost. I even I even looked it up to see the lyrics, and it and it's um, "Hungry for Your Love." I think it's called. Um, what? How does it go? Is it, uh, uh -huh. Uh, you guys have to look it up. I I can't even I can't even sing it to you right now. But it's from the movie Ghost. And and that's what I feel. I feel like didn't I say this person will give anything for a sip, a sip of the Queen of Cups love. It feels like they're they're coming with all of this stuff, right? All of the stuff that they're carrying, and 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 they just want nurturing. They just want tender love and care. 
They just want the love of the empress, their empress. They just want a sip of love. They just want emotional, emotional comfort and emotional, um, emotional support. Okay. My darling, my, I'm hungry for your touch. That, that that I remember those lyrics from the from that from that from that song. So listen to that song from Ghost. I think the movie is called Ghost. Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore. I'm hungry for your touch. Something. That's the only. That's the only uh, uh, lyrics that's coming to me right now. Um, but yeah, we have the Emperor. Let's find out a little bit about what else is going on with them. other than, you know, they're, they're, they're struggling a little bit with closing this out. Okay. They, they're being guided here. If it's not you, them to take better care of themselves here that I don't feel like they might be taking good care of themselves at this time. Okay. And, um, can you please tell me about this emperor, this divine masculine? What do we need to know about this divine masculine? They could be missing you so much. They're missing you so much it's becoming unhealthy with this devil and painful. It's like they can't stop watching you. Tell me about this emperor here. It's like they're having a they need to rest. They're having a hard time hanging in there. But it's cracking them open. I feel like the blossoming card is also for them. They're just getting started. They're blooming and blossoming. All of this happens so that this person can rise into divine masculine energy, divine masculine energy, and connect to the portal of their heart. Connect to their heart. And open up their heart. Their, their ice around their heart is thawing out. So they, 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 they were cracked open. Because love healed them. Love is the greatest healer. Love healed this is healing this person. True love is. This connection. Tell me a little bit more about. Tell me a little bit more about this emperor. So this person here. So okay, so they are feeling more confident. The emperor is somebody here that that is an authoritative figure. They like. They they tend to take control, take responsibility, take a very protective energy. Okay, they tend to take control, take responsibility. This is somebody that's also very serious. We're talking about somebody that could be a father. Ready for that as well for marriage for somebody that rules empires here. Very successful in the material world. We're talking about somebody that has a lot of wealth as well. A busy person. Okay, that's always on the go, which is why they're burnt out and they're being asked to go into quiet time. So they are, um, right now, this person could be a rebel, which is probably what got them into this kind of situation to begin with. It's a very free spirited person here. Okay. But they, it looks to me like they're seeing an opportunity here to take a leap of faith. Okay. And they are in the process of considering while they're here, considering, considering, you know, embracing the unknown. They tend, they're, they're a little afraid of it, it feels like, but this person here is gaining their autonomy, their individuality. They're breaking free from the ancestral stuff as well. I heard from past life. Okay. You could, you could be talking to some about somebody here. That's very stubborn, very prideful, very has a, has an ego, has a large ego, uh, could be domineering and controlling. Okay. Could be dealing with a fixed sign. Somebody that is, um, uh, uh, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, or an Aquarius doesn't have to be, but this is somebody that's very conservative as well as somebody you can rely on a loyal person, a devoted person. Okay. Somebody that is, uh, uh, purpose driven, bold. Okay. And, uh, and somebody that you can count on. At least this is the person that they're becoming somebody that's loyal, devoted, stable, 
somebody you can count on fixed energy right not moving secure solid but it turns out that right now it's just there this person still needs more time tell me more about this emperor please what else we need to know about this emperor the tower so again it could be a scorpio that is one of the fixed signs the tower represents scorpio we also have capricorn here and we have the four fixed signs here as well in the world so so this person here you know moderation right struggles with this battle with the, with mars energy this person may be ruled by mars they may be aries or scorpio Okay, this person has a lot of raw energy. They have imp imp like impulsive energy, a lot of like uh, aggression within themselves, okay? A very lustful energy. I feel like this person went from uh, an energy of somebody that like used to, th they have, they can be very jealous as well, okay? They can, they have toxic dark, dark, dark traits and tendencies, okay? Um, they can be deceptive. That's this devil energy. They can even use silent treatment as punishment, part of mind games, okay? Um, so this person may have betrayed you, like I said, and then they, they got, we saw karma here a bunch of times. They got, they got some karma and then they got betrayed back here with this tower. So they're experiencing a lot of tower moments, stuff that they created. This person may have once upon a time thrived off of chaos and drama thrived off of that that used to be what fueled them mars energy here the ruler of destruction right the tower this person here and that's what you know uh that's what has gotten them in in situation yeah especially with this king this king this king of wands here has a lot of passion a lot of lust a lot of drive a lot of mars passion anger sex all of that stuff right within them too much for them to sit in a settling situation. I'm getting that this person here regrets settling. Look, there are, there are three cups that they're crying over. And there's the three cups here that they chose over the divine connection. This person may have been uh, Aries energy. They may have been made an impulsive decision. They may have been impulsive. And they regret settling, I, f I feel. This person has way too much passion, drive, you know, Mars energy within them um, for them to live this mediocre, basic, superficial lifestyle. I'm getting this person here is learning some very valuable lessons about them self-destructing themselves with the tower. They're maturing. They're definitely growing and ascending here in, 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 in divine masculine energy, okay? But it took this person to receive a few blows to their heart for them to wake up. Huh. Look, this person here, again, wears a mask. Afraid to be, there, afraid to be authentic in their true self. Because it feels like this person is very sensitive, okay? We're talking about a toxic person that's going from being toxic to, you know, healing themselves here, right? To changing, to going through the metamorphosis, to going through a death and a rebirth process, okay? So um, we're talking about somebody that gaslighted, that gaslights people, manipulates people right here, uh, gives them silent treatment. You know, to punish them, to play games. This is how this person that's very sensitive on the inside protects themselves. And now I see why you're in Queen of Swords energy when it comes to this person. Okay, can you please uh, tell me more about this Emperor? It's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... I did say the butterfly healing the inner child. So this person has been healing their wounds that caused, you know, <sighs> that caused for them to, to behave in that way, even though I feel like it's a choice, but you know, sometimes it's just people just are on automat autopilot when it comes to their trauma responses, right? To their, uh, I saw in one of these cards here, uh, survival instincts. 
That means that their their root chakra is blocked and out of balance, right? That's like fight, flight, and freeze. That's this person's energy. Constant hypervigilant, right? Because they don't know when the tower is going to come crumbling down. Because according to them, in their life, the way they have lived, this rebel life, right? Going against the grain of everything. Uh, what is it? Uranus energy of like free, fl free flying and free spirited energy here, right? This rebel lifestyle of theirs. If, if it feels like the towers is always crumbling around them, it's like ruin and destruction follows this person. So if that so naturally, this person is going to feel and think that they are a difficult person to be around if. Everywhere that they go, they, they bring down the tower in people's lives and in their life, right? So that's what this person needed to work on healing is um, their self-worth and not seeing themselves in that way. The way we see ourselves is how is a reality that we're going to create for ourselves, right? So the Queen of Swords has been healing, has been working on balancing here. Uh, outdated thinking. So this person, you know... Is, is 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 releasing outdated thinking here and replaying these events that they create for themselves over and over and over again in their heads okay and um this person has been conditioned and programmed and that's what they're working on breaking free from with this butterfly metamorphosis transformation yeah they're growing they're evolving they're ascending this takes time this takes time they need to come to their own conclusions here right and sit in this in this puddle of self-pity for as long as they need to sit there in their regret and remorse for them to wake up and see the cup. Can I have one more for this emperor? So, it feels like that this person here, either they're seeing you happily single and moving on and spending time with your friends while they're watching you, or... This right here is what they're working towards. If they're not already there, is is becoming single, and and bringing joy back into their lives, right? And enjoying their lives and trying to move on from uh, whatever situation that they're getting themselves out of. Okay, which we saw, right? We have talking, so they want to text and call you right here with this page of swords. Tell me, give me one more on this emperor, please. This person is very a jealous person. They have, they're very insecure, that's why. They're working on becoming more confident and healing the divine masculine energy within him. Working on healing uh, the father, their father wound. What else uh, for this emperor? Yeah, talking, that actually came out. That was at the bottom of the deck. So there's a separation between you and this person. But a, a weighted message arrives, text call. Okay, interested in conversing more. Yeah, they're feeling very heartbroken right now. They want to balance this out and make things fair here with you, okay? With this uh but I feel like you're 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 in separation at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you are in the energy here. Yeah, they want to date you, take you out on a date. I feel like you're in the energy here of let me clarify the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're in the energy here of wanting to take things slow with this person. To, to give them a chance to show you. To build the trust back up, right? Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Clarify this Queen of Swords before we do that. I think it's becoming really hard for this person to hold back from you with this Devil and, and the Three of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords self-indulgence is focusing on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Yeah, that's the energy for the feminine. The feminine energy is working on healing. Okay, uh, manifesting love. The Queen of Swords is manifesting a partner that's going to unconditionally, it says unconditionally loving, giving and receiving right here, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. And engagement ring, eternity, completion, and union, commitment, and eternity. This queen is uh, is is working on alignment and balancing the inner and outer life and energy 
to becoming a law of attraction, becoming the energy of what this queen is attracting in a commitment. This queen is attracting in unconditional love and commitment. Okay. And this queen also has many options. Many options, decisions. So, um, and, 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 and I'm, and I'm not worried about the queen of swords and, and the options because the queen of swords is very discerning, very discernment and very patient. The queen of swords is saying, I'm going to, I'm not investing in anyone until I feel a soul connection, you know, as well as if it's sent by God, right? Uh, and, and, and also if there's equal give and take a reciprocity here. I'll wait for true love, you know, and, uh, and maybe that's, maybe this, this king is picking up on that. Maybe this king is, I'm not king, this emperor is picking up on the fact that this queen is unbothered, moving on, focused on self-love and, and let me see. And they and they're worried that they're gonna miss out on their opportunity, their chance. They're worried they're gonna miss out on a chance with the with the queen. I feel that there's a sense of urgency here with this with this king of of wands here. Like time is legit with this. It's like a, I'm seeing an hourglass with this uh, seven of 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 pentacles sideways and this uh, world here and and the page of swords. It feels like an hourglass, like time is running out uh can you please it's like they're they're really taking forever to, to to grasp the concept of of this healing and and this this and this letting go of this this devil energy within them and they're having a heart it feels like they, they are rising as the emperor right but it just feels like with this devil still being here and this three of swords, it feels like they're at their, the peak of this. It feels like they're that fixed. This person is that fixed when it comes to change, right? Fixed energy. You know, that it's like they're having a hard time breaking free from this, uh, from this addiction, from this codependency, from their coping mechanism, from they need to settle down. So this going to quiet time so that they can heal. And they can really surrender to the healing. I'm still getting some resistance from this emperor. Can you please um, clarify the emperor here? What do we need to know about this emperor? Planning for the future. Look, the emperor is ready to take control and lead. And, and ready to step out of their comfort zone. I like it. I like it. It could be that they're now, you know... Looking back with this nine of wands, nine of wands and seeing their toxic patterns and their toxic ways here. Okay. Tell, what else can you tell me about this emperor? Yeah, they're, they've been in the dark night of the soul for a long time. When we see the three of swords, the three of swords is sadness. It's empty, a feeling of emptiness, aloneness, isolation, you know, uh, depression even. Okay. Spiritual depression feels like with this nine of wands. Um, when we have an imbalance in the heart shock where we're not very open, our heart's not open, we're not generous, we're not kind, there's anger, resentment there. Okay. And uh, and the devil energy is trying to keep this person there. And this and this person may vacillate back and forth from their coping mechanisms so that they can numb the pain here. So they can numb the pain. That's why it's taking so long. Because this person is sitting in pain. But it's fueling them. You know when you feel anger? Sometimes, like, you can use that energy to, like, to align with, like, your purpose. You know, when you feel angry, it's like, it, it, it fuels you to want to do better. To, uh, I don't know. It's like you use it to create that energy. So people get angry and clean their entire house, right? 
It's like using it for something productive, you know? Uh, can you please uh, tell me what's the energy of this emperor? Look at that, family. Look at that. That's this devil here. That's, that's what the devil will have you do, right? Feel like that. Like you're stuck. The devil will make you feel powerless and helpless. This person feels like their hands are tied. That's very sad. Tell me more. Yeah, they're in contemplation right now. And I think it has everything to do with the, their environment, the people around them. Okay? Tell me more about this emperor. The divine feminine. There's a lot that they want to say to the divine feminine. A lot that they want to get off their chest. Okay? It's like uh, wearing a, like a, an expression of love, wearing your heart on your sleeve, you know. I feel the Divine Feminine is their guiding light. It's like pouring their heart out to the Divine Feminine, okay? This could be what they're needing to heal, the Divine Feminine energy within them. Tell me more about this Emperor. Vibration and devotion. Yeah, this flame is never going to go out. They're really devoted and loyal. They're fixed. So they're set on, 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 on this flame, right? But again, they need to work on raising their vibration and, and aligning, aligning with the frequency that they want to create. And they can do that when they go into rest and meditation. They have a lot of fear about this new direction. Okay, they have a lot of fear. Let me get more on this emperor, please. Soul mirroring. So this is your, your your mirror counterpart exposing and revealing all. They they want to share. They want to talk. They want to expose. Purge, right? They, they, they need to purge. They need to release a lot from their heart. Okay? Um, work on their throat chakra. Yeah, they, they're wearing a mask. Pretend. We saw that. Pretend. Gaslight. They're not telling you what's going on. They're not telling you how they feel. Okay, they wear a mask in their life. They're probably not showing it in the people. This is somebody that walks around looking like nothing is wrong. But inside, it's like a volcano going on. Uh, 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 what is it? Sorry. I don't know what. Come on, really? Oh, the, the, the thing finished. That's what happened. Um, the, the video finished. So, so this person, there's a reconciliation that's coming. So they walk around, you know, um, with this tough exterior, pretending that there's nothing wrong, not asking for help. I don't get, you know, emotional support is what they need. Right. And, uh, prayer is what also what they need. What else for this emperor resurrection? They're going through a rebirth, a resurrection. It's saying this isn't over. This is not dead. Okay. And they're, they're planning for the future right now. I, I believe that the devil card and the, and the three of swords could, could be coming from, you know, they want the past to stay in the past. That's the only way that this is going to work is if the past stays in the past. They really want, you know, uh, what's under that? Ready to surrender and ready to re release the love block. This person has had a love block. A, a closed heart. They've been spending a lot of time in isolation. They're having a hard time detaching emotionally, okay, from whatever went down, repeating events over and over again in, in their heads. We are divine counterparts under that. So this 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 devil that has kept their heart wrapped up uh, and their hands tied, right? They're, they're, they, they can't take it anymore. They're ready to free themselves, release the love block here and surrender, okay? The past needs to stay, stay in the past if this is going to work. I feel like the temperance card here is saying the queen of swords is open to talk, is open to forgiveness, it feels like. You know, um, let me see. We're almost done. Tell me about, about this emperor's energy here. Towards their true love. If there's a lot of obsession 
and temptation still in this person's energy. I feel like this person is just a type of person that is when they when they when they go after something and when they want something planning for the future here, when they want something, when they go after something, they they like it to it's like they claim it completely. It's like all in or all out for this person. So they're fixed energy. So, and they, and, and this is a perfectionist kind of person. So it's like, they like it for everything to go a certain way to be, this is somebody that, that you may not notice it on the outside, but on the inside, this person is constantly worrying, constantly thinking, constantly obsessing every detail of every, everything, calculating everything, analyzing everything. Okay. Going over everything over and over again in their heads. That's this kind of person. It's Aries energy rules the crown and it's a fixed quality too. If this person is a fixed, uh, has fixed placements in their chart, it's a fixed quality. Fixed signs tend to do that. They tend to fixate and this person's having a hard time just re resting their mind, quieting their mind, okay, so that they can see the way forward. So they're, they can, and they're having also a hard time following the synchronicities and, and following their intuition because they can't seem to get them, themselves to quiet their, their minds. Tell me about this emperor, please. Very soon. So the, they, they need to make a decision. Cle be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye it will be yours the second that this person decides the universe is going to meet them match them and catch them okay so all of this person is that's that's the issue here the issue here is their heart and their mind is not on the same page their heart wants this union wants to be with you wants this this love but in their heads they're thinking about what if this, what if that, how is this going to happen? Uh, there's a lot of ego, a lot of resistance, a lot of pride, a lot of what, what, what is other people going to think? What are they going to say? What if, you know, somebody here that has a very sensitive, fragile ego, their, their, their ego is sensitive and fragile to criticism and rejection. What else for this emperor? Yeah, it feels like the best is the best. <laughs> the best is yet to come when it comes to this situation. Okay, there's more to this love story. If life were a movie, being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better part of each other. Yeah, I bet this is a spiritual connection. What else can you tell me about this emperor? This is your life partner. This is your life partner. This person, you on this life journey with this person. This is the romance of a lifetime for you both. This person is just in the process of clearing out this devil energy from their energy before they can come in to you. You're being protected from this. You're being protected from this energy here. I do feel a very possessive energy, especially the way that this king is looking. Okay. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And the best part here, the best is yet to come. What is the guidance that you have for the collective? So very soon, family, very soon, okay? Um, this person is completing their dark night of the soul. Nine of wands means we're close to the end of a cycle. Uh, what is the guidance you have for the collective? Friendship, honor the, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love will dramatically improve. Yeah, if this person does reach out to you, you know, um, if you're guided to offer them a friendship to say, you know, I, I, I accept your apology. I forgive you. I'm here for you for if you need help with your healing, because you guys are healers here. You guys are earth angels, temperance card. Um, if, if you would like, uh, emotional support, I'm here for you for that. Right. Um, I feel like you guys have a great, had a great friendship. And then, you know, this person breached that contract, right when they decided to be impulsive about their choices and self-sabotaging energy what else yeah so this is your divine counterpart here twin flame energy passion ignites and embrace through each other you find the missing pieces so whatever is still missing here there's going to be an opportunity here it feels like to Come together and make amends and heal, right? On Wednesday here, on Wednesday, Enchanted Love, 
This person is enchanted with you. You are enchanted with them. A sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. It feels like um, they're getting a tower to break them free from this stubborn, <laughs> you know, energy here that they're in. Uh, that the, the feeling bound by the devil. I actually want to, before we go, I know we're already in an hour in here. Uh, can you please tell me about this devil? Yeah, see, they're kind of stuck. They're feeling stuck right now until they change their perspective. So they have to change their perspective going through an awakening. They're going through the dark night of the soul. So until this person changes their perspective, um, you know, the thing with love is that when, 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 it, when we're talking about love, right? Um, there's always some kind of sacrifice that we will make, right? When it comes to love, whether that is us moving from our homes into the home, you know, we, there's always something to give up, right? That we got to give up when it comes to us merging our lives with our, the love of our lives. And we're joining forces. It could, for some, for some people, they move to a different state to go be with their uh, beloved or they'll move their homes or, you know, there is something that's always that, that we got to give up, that we got to sacrifice, that we got to leave. And so for some, it could be all, our old ways of being, old patterns, old habits, addictions, and things like that, right? Old, you know, toxic, friend, a lifestyle for some, a lifestyle that's not healthy, right? And when we, and, and, and that, and, and whatever it is that's keeping this person stuck here, this is what they, they, they're needing to give up. It could be their addiction to drama and chaos. It could be, you know, whatever rebellious lifestyle that this person has, right? That they're mature, maturing and growing out of, you know? It could be whatever it is that, you know, that's keeping this person, whatever toxic habit or toxic trait that's keeping this person stuck here. Patterns, right? That needs to be given up. They need to give it up before they can come to you. They need to heal it and they need to give it up. What does uh, Emperor want to say? And then we'll wrap. I feel like they're breaking free with the Emperor clarifying the Nine of Wands. They're taking charge. They're taking control. The Emperor is not to be messed with. You know, that's somebody here that's taking charge and control of their lives. So I do feel that this person, a fair and just outcome. I do feel that this person here will take charge of this situation they're making plans for the future right and and they are going to resurrect into your life here okay they're going through a resurrection right now in their life what does this emperor want to say i know that you are my soulmate they have clarity that's not the decision that's not the decision right the decision here has something to do with whatever whatever this 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 devil energy is in their life okay uh, that's what clearly decide here what you want is talking about. But this is your life partner. You can get through anything together. We saw this. This came out in the other reading. So it's like we'll, we'll get through this, right? We'll get through this. Love, love, love conquers all. Love is patient and love is kind. Okay, I'm fighting for us. I know that you are the one. Exactly. This person wants to come in and put a ring on your finger. You're not accepting anything less when it comes to this person. What's your ring size, they're saying? What else does this emperor what else does this emperor wants to say? I want to communicate, but it's not time yet. What else? This is a past life connection you have with this person. And we did see the four of cups, right? With the with the with the king of wands and the six of cups. This person daydreams and night dreams about you all the time. I do feel that this person's memories of you are both good. And are both not so good when they put knives in your back. Backstab. Okay. I feel like they and and that's and that's the devil energy, right? That's the back and forth. That's the in and out. Is the shame that comes up, you know, for this person, the guilt, the shame, the remorse, the embarrassment for them waking up now to who you are to them and how they treated you, you know? So this, this still needs some time and, um, and, and you can keep doing what you're doing, right? Working on yourself, taking care of yourself, loving on yourself, staying in the present moment, holding the faith. Okay. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you all and God bless you and namaste. <coughs>
Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. And, um, and for every which way you guys help out here on our community. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.